Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV's Prime at 9. I'm Naomi Kikon. As Hornbill Festival entered its seventh day, the Nagland Off-Road Expedition began by the CM flecking off the 4x4 Off-Road Expedition. Nagland made a great stride in the tourism sector. During the flecking off, CM Rio launched the never-seen-before Nagland Off-Road Guidebook, Nagland Off-Road Website and Nagland Off-Road Mobile Application, which was curated by Wonder Beyond Boundaries, fully supported by the Department of Tourism, Nagland. Let's have a glimpse. Uh, at the outset, uh, on behalf of the Department of Tourism, I would like to thank the Honorable CM, Honorable Advisor, uh, Senior Officers here for making time for this. Mm book and app and website monster. So uh, the participants we have today are mostly uh, media persons from all over the country. So we have representatives from Hindustan Times, Indian Express, uh, Outlook Channel, and a couple of uh, freelancers who have to write for well-known publication houses. So we have taken the and we have a person, Nidhi and her team, WBB, who curated the, the, this entire uh, project for us, sir. So I have taken the liberty of making the order of program for this uh, launch program, sir. When we are launching the novel project called Another Stop I want to first commend the core team present here today who has shown red to us with you amidst many situations of adversity. I would also like to acknowledge the important work of our partners, Wonder Beyond Boundaries, for investing time, effort, and hard work this entire year and bringing us together to this stage well in time, when we can proudly announce the fruition of our labor in the form of Nagarin of Road and tangible outcome in the shape of the interactive and very impressive first of its kind of rolling app and the diligent and robust information powerhouse guidance. Thank you for all your hard work behind the scenes. With many ideas in the head, that were just ideas at that point. But post that, uh, today I've rolled in with a convoy of 10 for you, sir. And it gives me, with extreme humility, I'd like to also take you through some of the journey that we've, the, the journey that we've been through in the last couple of months. Um, it's been 10 months and seven days, sir, since, we've, since I made that presentation right from there, telling you about Nagaland Off-Road and what we can achieve through the medium of off-road-based tourism. And so in 10 months and 7 days, um, what I have today for you is really humbling. And this wouldn't have been possible, of course, without a tacit team behind me and support that one has received very graciously from Commissioner Secretary Tourism and the Honorable Advisor, who have really led the way, sir, in, in making this happen by seeing that all of our hurdles on the other end the hurdles on this, on, in the field, of course, is something we were geared for and anticipated. But, um, but I'm really grateful for, your, for their support, sir. But in this entire journey from these two points, I think what has really helped us and what has egged us on is just the people we've met in the remote villages, sir. They are the ones who have kept us committed to this project, to be very honest with you. There were days we'd be soaked in the rain, drenched in slush, not eaten all day, and we would be welcomed by these people as if we were their own and we had known them, with no gain. And honestly, sir, I'd like to salute the people of Nagaland, especially in the remote areas, for having gone that extra mile to make Nagaland off-road happen, sir.
So over this project, we've mapped out 46 routes uh, classified into easy, moderate, difficult, and extreme from an off-roading perspective and mapped out allied infrastructure for each route. The idea is to be able to enable travelers like me and them and everyone who's interested in roughing it out to be able to create their own self-drive trip and come to Nagaland. Team leader, Lydia and your team, Nidhi. At, at the outset, I would like to congratulate Nidhi and team for taking up the challenge and gone to the extent of now launching the website and also your apps. When you and your team first met me, I was wondering whether it would be possible or not. <laughs> and uh, I feel fascinated. The word off-road, because in Nagaland, Many part of our state has bad and very bad roads, and some are not even connected. So, like today, you have Hornville in uh, Kohima. The tribes they have their tribal festivals in their respective district headquarters, all their centers. And that's how we call it Nagaland, the land of festivals. Because everywhere, every tribe, they have so many tribal festivals. And that combination brings everybody together to the Hornbill Festival. By the way, we have taken everything very enthusiastically. And uh, judging from your expression and enthusiasm, I was convinced that we should support. But wondering how successful it will be. But today, you have made it happening. And therefore, I have to come visually. People may come for Hongbe Festival or into the district headquarters, but not to the rural villages. Otherwise, you will never go there, nor see the rich tradition, the culture, and the life living at the, you know, God-forsaken places. But one thing, Wherever, as you had already said, the people, hospitality. And though poor or in difficulty, they still hold their smiles and being kind to everybody, willing to share whatever little they have and extend also help. So unless you go to the interior, through the worst roads and to the cornermost parts of the state, you will not know the real Nagas. That's why I'm excited about that. And people who do, <coughs> we have uh, young, smart writers, so you will have the Nagaland experience 
at the corner most and with the rural populace. That is very exciting. Thank you. Thank you. As per the reports from Tourism Department, the day-wise tourist statistics of Hornbill Festival shows a total of 14,482 tourists on day one, 11,095 tourists on day two, 12,005 on day three, 19,393 on day four, 9,158 on day five, 10,453 on day six, and 11,569 tourists on day seven. The fourth edition of Hornbill Badminton Championship 2022 Northeast under the team Forging Camari Dairy were held today at the indoor badminton stadium Gohima organized by Hornbill Badminton Club. Horn member of Hornbill Badminton Club and state badminton player Joseph Sumi said that the objective of the tournament is to give platform to the younger generation, especially for the Nagaland state players. Sumi also informed that in the next edition, the Hornbill Badminton Championship will be organized by inviting lead players from India by organizing all India level in a bigger way. Sumi also requested the state government to include the Hornbill Badminton Championship as part of the Hornbill program. The Hornbill Badminton Championship participants were from Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur and Nagaland. While the matches were played in seven categories under 35 plus veterans' doubles, mixed doubles, amateur men's doubles, women single, men's single, junior boys and men's doubles with total prize money of three legs. And the open championship for Northeast are men's single, women's single and mixed doubles and the matches for junior boys were only for Nagaland. Jorabad police in Vaishishta police area of Gohati metropolitan area in Assam found 84 snakes from five cars in an operation based on a tip off. Five cars were seized from Imphal in Manipur, police said on Tuesday. 84 snakes of various species were recovered from the cars. The incident was reported to the forest department. The team of Jorabad forest department informed the Gohati ranger about the incident. Ranger Branjal Barua, who rushed to the scene, said 84 snakes of three species were being transported to Kohati in five cars after getting permission from the Central Zoo Authority of India and Chief Wildlife. The snakes were permitted by the Customs Department of Imphal and the Chief Conservator of Forest Wildlife Department of the Government of Manipur. The Forest Department has registered an FIR in this regard and is investigating the matter. মানে <laughs> Okay, verify copies of the 
কোর্ট মানে কি আমি যিনি পাইছো তাত সি ফাইল ফর দন অর্ডার আছে সেন্ট্রাল জুরো অথরিটি অফ ইন্ডিয়া অর্ডার আছে তো এই হেডুটা পার্টিকুলার কিবাটা রেফারেন্সতে অর্ডার করা হইছে নিয়ালে অর্ডারটো চেক কৰিব কাৰণে আমি এতিয়া বৰ্তমান লৈ গৈছো যদি কিবা ভেরিফিকেশন কৰিবলৈ আছে এটো সেন্ট্রাল আমাৰ জুরো অথরিটি অফ যোগাযোগ কৰা হ'ব তেওঁলোকে কি কোন অর্ডার এগেইনষ্টত কৰিছে বা কেনেকা কি কৰি গৈছে গটেখিনি কি সোৱা বিচাৰ কৰা হ'ব তেওঁলোকৰ গৱৰ্ণমেন্টৰ কথাটো মই ক'ব নোৱাৰি তো এতিয়া সব এক্সিকিউটিভ এনিমেল আছে বুলি কৈছে আমাক এইখিনি আমাৰ ইণ্ডিয়ান নহয় হৰিসিপ প্ৰাণী আছে গটেখিনি বেলেগ তেনেকুৱা গুজৰাট কোলে নিয়া হ'ল না গুজৰাটৰ বুলি লিখা আছে গুজৰাটৰ কিছমান লোকেচন দিছে বা গটেখিনি ডিটেলছ মই সোৱা নাই এতিয়া কাৰণ যেহেতু এখিনি ভেৰিফিকেচন জু অথৰিটি কৰিব গটি তাতে কৰা হ'ব ইনফালৰ পৰা গুজৰাট হয় এটো একচুৱেলি ৰিকগনাইজ এটা হেৰি হয় এনজি হয় যোনটো সেন্ট্ৰেল জু অথৰিটি অফ ইণ্ডিয়া ৰিকগনাইজ কৰা হয় আৰু তাতে তেওঁলোকৰ অৰ্ডাৰটো মতে যোনটো তাৰ মানে তেওঁলোকক জু অথৰিটি অফ ইণ্ডিয়া অৰ্ডাৰ দিছে আৰু সেই অৰ্ডাৰ এগেইনষ্টতে তেওঁলোকে এখিনি লৈ গৈছে ট্ৰান্সপৰ্ট কৰিছে একচুৱেলি কিবা এটা গৱৰ্ণমেন্টৰ নীতি নিয়মৰ মাজেদিয়ে কৰিছে গোটেইখিনি কাম কিন্তু কোৰ্টৰ যোনটো অৰ্ডাৰ বিশেষকৈ থাকিব লাগে বুলি আপোনালোকে কৈছে সেটোৰ কাৰণে আমি ফাৰ্ডাৰ আমি কমিউনিকেট কৰিম তেওঁলোকৰ লগত আমাৰ অথৰিটিয়ে কৰিব আৰু A rescue operation to save an 8-year-old boy who remained stuck at 55 feet after falling down a 400 feet deep bore well in Mandavi village of Madhya Pradesh's Bidul district has now crossed 16 hours on Wednesday an official said Bidul additional district magistrate Shyamindra Jaiswal said the rescue operations are taking more time than expected because there are stones the authorities have called in a breaker machine at night to break the stones and JCB and proclaim machines are also being used the official said the rescue teams have reached a depth of over 40 feet so far and vertical digging remains he said a medical team is also present at the spot said jaiswal about a tuesday evening incident the state disaster response force home guard and police personnel were present at the spot as every effort to save the child continued on wednesday 8 year old boy Tanmay Sahu fell into the borewell while playing at about 5 pm on Tuesday. Tanmay's father Sunil Sahu said that he was playing in the farm. When he went to another field where the borewell was open, Tanmay fell into it. Operation jari hai aur machine jo hai lagatar raat se kaam kar rahi hain aur jo hamara target hai 45 feet humko drill karna hai aur isme takriban 30 feet hum log kar chuke hain. बच्चे की स्थिति अभी स्टेबल है और जैसे कल शाम को थी कैमरा डाल के हम लोगों ने देखा था और अभी भी कैमरा डाल के निरंतर देखा जा रहा है तो अभी तो बच्चे की स्थिति स्टेबल है अभी चार से पाँच घंटे और लगेंगे इसमें जो खेत मालिक है उसके ऊपर एफ की कार्रवाई होगी क्योंकि उनकी लापरवाही के कारण इतनी बड़ी घटना घटी है A suspected blast was reported near the Sitra Bridge checking point in Jammu on Tuesday evening, said police. The police team is conducting a thorough search on the spot to verify the matter. Today, late evening, a blast sound like sound was heard near the Sitra Bridge checking point, said Chandan Goli, senior superintendent of police, Jammu. A thorough search is being carried out on the spot to verify the matter and any further details shall be shared accordingly, said Kohli. That's all we have for now. For more news and updates, keep watching Rambil TV.